So bear with me. I'm trying to set up the camera a little better this time. Um, I want to give a shout out to the shirt because I got it from Goodwill Blue Box um, in their curated section of like vintage stuff. I could not not get this shirt. It's kitties and glitter and oversized and I cut the neck off like I do with every sweatshirt I own. So enough said, going right back into the haul. My next item, this is mostly like the coats and stuff that are on the bottom, is this super soft Kenzie like teddy bear coat. It's really soft. Um, I'll show you the tag. Kenzie. It's a size 10. It's got like little snap buttons. This is so cozy. I, It's heavy, but I love this. Love it so much. Next. I also love this. Roxy coat. It's a really great ski snowboarding coat. It did have two really tiny little spots on the back, but otherwise it's in like super great condition. It's got little thumb hole things for the sleeves. Um, it looks really warm. Next I got this tool, like military style coat. These buttons are so cute and it's got little zippers on the sleeves. Um, this brand tool is sold at Mod Cloth. Um, I think they also sell them at Nordstrom's. Yeah, this jacket's adorable. Next, found this adorable polka dot. LC Lauren Conrad. I usually don't pick up Lauren Conrad, but this coat, the little, little bow in the back, it's so cute and it's perfect for spring. It's nice, lightweight, it's lined, it's got pockets. Uh, next, next is a vintage piece. It says horse print fleece. I couldn't find any flaws with it. But it's really cute. Um, it has pockets as well, which I love pockets on anything, so I have to mention that. The collar is like a cotton. Oh, the brand is David Paul. Yeah. Um, next, I have these American Eagle Panda like sweater pants. They're the amazingly soft. Um, I love American Eagle, and if these were my size, I probably would have kept them. There's like a little bit of pilling and stuff, but these are more like just loungy pants. Like they're like jogger style. I've got this, this older label torrid skirt. It's like a lace with like a layer underneath. It's the older torrid tag. The torrid always sells. And it's a really cute skirt. It's in a size one. Um, I picked this up just because it's like a kimono. It, I think it's probably part of a pajama set actually, but like it's so pretty. It's like silky. This would look really cute with a pair of jeans and like a tank. It says size 12. But it's, I don't know really if it's a 12, but it's also missing the like wrap around scarf thing belt that's the word um okay so those of you who have babies have heard of this i'm sure this is called a moby wrap it's it's like a baby carrier but it's like when you wrap around yourself and like tie the baby into it i've never actually used one but um i know people rave about them it's in like perfect condition I, I might use I might put this in one of the buy sell trade groups that I'm in on Facebook. We'll see. I also found this really fun poncho. There's no brand, but it has like this 
tie. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't even figure it out. Here it is. It's like a tie that goes around the neck. And there's like little tassel things on it. And I just thought it was pretty. That concludes the women's clothing. Next I'll show you a few home goods items. I got this adorable hello. Is that English sheepdog, I think? People are crazy about their dogs. I'm sure someone will love this. I got these two Christmas pillows that I'm gonna lot up together. You know, maybe end of summer I'll put them up. Oh, this one's got a little. Oh wait, I don't know if it's supposed to be. No, it's not supposed to be like that. Well, anyway, there's this one that is from Pier One. And then there is this one that is from Threshold at Target. But they both like go really well together and they're really cute. Those are my household items. Next is children's. I wasn't sure if I was going to give this to my niece, but super cute mini mouse, like little, little skirt, little dress, and stars. Next to these Oshkosh overalls. Very cute. And these are so adorable. Watermelon print. Uh, little overall shorts from the children's place and these are actually new with tags children's place I can't believe that someone would pay $30 for a pair of overall shorts this time <laughs> I got this Star Wars shirt it's just a kids medium Star Wars this I'm excited to put this up near Halloween Flounder. How adorable is this? It's like a little hoodie, but it's such an easy costume for a baby. It does need to be washed. It has a little spot, but it really is in amazing condition. It's a size 18 month. So, yeah, it just needs to be washed, I think. Um, next is, I, it's kind of the same as that Kenzie coat. There's a children's version of it from Genuine Kids, which is Oshkosh, sold at Target, but it's actually not a very cheap brand. This jacket is so cute. Love the inside. I got this little velour H&M blazer, new with tags. Just H&M, but adorable. This will be perfect for like you know, Christmas time next year, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to hold off on listing that one. Another pair of overall shorts. Acid washed. These are Jordash. Kids, Jordash. Overalls and overall shorts are kind of... I see them a lot. So, hopefully that means that they are popular and will sell quickly. Um, there's always a ton of L.L. Bean and Columbia at the bins in New Hampshire. The shirt was cool. It's just got all of the, it says, know your neighbors. And it's got all, like, the animals that, you know, are in this area. The little paw prints. It's cute. It's a kid's 1416. Next, I got these teddy bear coats are just so in right now, and so I got a baby one. It's got like little ears. It's got little bears in the pocket. It's a 18 month Carter's. Next is another L.L. Bean, just a new tag thermal top. I think it probably went with pants, but looks like a like a bedtime top. But it's it's new. It's cute. And I love this dress. It's like a special occasions dress. It buttons up in the back. It's got sparkles. I've never heard of this brand, Special Editions. 
I may just put all this stuff on Kittison because I've been starting to pick up sales on Kittison, which is nice. Oh, I also got these kids keen sandals. Um, for some reason, I can't find the other one. I know I had both of them. I think it's in my fiance's Jeep. I will have to check. And that's all for kids. Next up, men's. We will start with another L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean hat. Just a men's hat. It's cute. A lot of these I'll probably have my fiance model. Um, I usually have a model everything from like a medium to an extra large. Um, this is just a bunch of fish on here. Oh yeah, that's L.L. Bean too. It's a cool summer shirt though. I found these cool carpenter pants. Unfortunately, they have a little spot right there, but and they, I think they are like an older cool label. But I'm going to try them out. They're men's 3430. We've got this. Brooks Brothers button up shirt. Just basic, really great condition though. Also cast off from Goodwill. They wanted eight bucks for it. They didn't get eight bucks for it. This will be perfect for 4th of July. It says America the Beautiful. Great. <laughs> doesn't have any sort of tags in it. Not that I can see. Yeah, no tags. It looks kind of like a men's large. I'll have, I'll have Nick try it on. Sorry for my sniffling, getting over cold. This is a Nike, Nike running dry fit top. Long sleeves. It's like a quarter zip. Yeah basic Nike piece. What's this? Oh, this is a Columbia. It's a Columbia, like, basic summer button-up short sleeve shirt. wanted six dollars for this. Didn't sell. But I think the colors are really great for summer. is a brand I had never heard of, but I don't know, it seemed like it would it had a nice label on it. Um, Grayers Clothiers exclusively for Bombfell. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to do some research on it. This is a really nice, basic, like, gray like, micro stripe shirt. Next is this band tee. It is Little Big Town, the painkiller tour. Um, thank you to my friend Angela for handing me this because she knows I like to sell band tees. I don't think, oh is there a size? Yes, there is a extra extra large tag on it so it has all the dates on the back. Okay, let's see. I really like this because this is like super cool vintage. Like, I don't know. It has a little stain in the back, which I'm going to try to treat. If I can't get it out, I don't know. I might just keep it. It's got this horse on it. It's young bloods. It reminds me of Stranger Things. Next is this Life is Good t-shirt. I love having Life is Good in my closet. They don't sell for a lot, but they sell quick. So it's a good brand. They have a lot of like cute, cute shirts. Yeah, this one says no roaming charges. Long sleeve. I found these men's shorts um, by Kavu which I actually hadn't heard of before this, so I looked them up. They retail for a lot. Kind of, like, I feel like they're, like, 
like the brand Cool, like a more expensive sporting goods company. They're size 38. I got this shirt, Flashbacks, Dare. I don't know how old you guys are, but when I was in middle school and high school, we all had these Dare shirts, so I don't know if this would be considered vintage or they still do this. I don't know, but I thought this would be a fun piece to have in my closet. It's a men's large. And last but not least here in the men's, Thank you, Stephanie, for handing me this one. Burberry. So this is my first ever Burberry piece. And let's see, it's got, it's just a men's suit jacket, but pure wool. Mm. I don't know what that says. Gold, golds clothing from Acton Hudson, which is like towns near here. Well, towns near New Hampshire, where I was. It's just really nice, basic. It says on the tag it was in Goodwill and it was a two piece. So maybe they lost the pants somewhere or the pants were damaged. 